everybody and welcome back to Maisie's Garden. I have a message for you. Hi guys. Um, this is going to be a what to expect predictions like for July since we're in the last couple of days of June. I hope you guys are doing well. If you are not doing well, I hope that you take the time to figure out the first step of getting well again. Even if it's just admitting to yourself, I'm not well, something needs to change, right? Uh, reach out if you guys need any help, if you want any personal readings or any kind of services, all of that stuff is posted and you can message me, guys. Also be aware of who you're messaging and how you're contacting me. Um, I only have one page across all social media and it's Maisie's Garden. There's no S at the end. There's no, it's Maisie's with an S, like M-A-Z-Y-S, garden. But there's no gardens, garden I any kind of numbers, nothing like that. All right. So please do not get scammed. Um, and all of that good stuff. Let me just drink some water real quick. Okay. All right. This is going to be a, what is coming in July. Uh, this will have an extended, the extended link is in the description box below. If you're on YouTube and anywhere else, it's in the, my, um, link tree in my bio. So a ja. Okay. So this is for air signs. This is for Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. If you have that anywhere in your chart, then this message may be for you. Um, could be sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, but um, really anywhere that you feel is prominent in your chart. All right. Spirit, please tell me what for the air signs do they need to know in July? Eight of cups. This is walking away from something. You may have built something and um there was just something missing there's just something missing and so you may walk away from everything completely oh yeah for sure things are ending <laughs> there's some type of ending coming in july could we have scorpio placements um there was something missing that's really what i'm getting because all the cups are upright they're all you know formed nicely but there's a cup missing and so i feel like either you're walking away from something and ending things or like it doesn't feel forced though this feels like a decision for you it feels like this is what's meant for you like you know this because it's a major decision i think this is also uh, bringing on some form of transformation with you. There's some type of emotionally leaving things behind and allowing things to really kind of lay to rest. <clears throat> and it's causing a transformation within. You may start to see the light. Uh, like, you know, the sun, the sun is rising again. I'm really called. I didn't even know there was a sun rising in the back of this death card. I have never seen that before. And my eyes went straight to it. So the sun's right. Like you're seeing the light. Like you see the end of the, like the end of the tunnel. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, right? Or you can see the finish line, whatever it is. Ace of swords. This is a major breakthrough. You're having a major breakthrough in July. Air signs. There's some type of clarity, truth, uh, just like some type of aha moment, epiphany, just like something clicks, especially emotionally, and it like causes everything to change for you. This is definitely, and it has a lot to do with like your emotions and your mind. Ten of Pentacles. This may have be in regards to a home, something, the way that you've been living, something that you were doing long term, something that was long term. But the, the way that this is bringing, the way this change, the way this ending, the way this like completion, I don't want to say completion because the, the death card talks about transformation. So it's not complete. There's a transformation happening, a major breakthrough into some type of 
I don't know if you've been putting in into some type of investment or something long term. Um, whatever it is, it's going to work out. Hold on. There's three other cards here. But I wanted to look at those first. Yeah, this is like sidebar side note type thing. Um, you're definitely going to be um, drawing yourself back from anything from that has any kind of like chaos or drama or gossiping or just like negative behavior, any type of internal conflict. You're committing to some form of peace as opposed to like having just like internal conflict or some type of chaos or drama around you or just arguments if this was uh if this was like a, a long-term commitment or and or marriage that is ending uh you find peace tell me more about this yeah, Ace of Wands. You're going through a brand new beginning. This is going to reignite a lot of like even I just heard life force. So something about this like reignites or um, revitalizes you in some way. Like your vitality kind of goes up. Your willpower. Queen of Cups, you could have... Like, it's, like I'm saying, you could have water placements, specifically Scorpio placements. Um, there's some form of, there's an emotional release for sure. There's like an aha moment or some type of epiphany that goes off. There's some type of transformation of the mind or your mindset or so you get a piece of information or some type of truth and it just clicks for you. You may have also committed to like finding your peace, even like internal peace, even through your internal chaos, right? Because some of us, a lot of us have internal chaos. They don't always address what's going on inside. And so um, you make a commitment to like figuring out how to calm yourself. That's what this sidebar really feels like to me. You learn something that like, it's something you learn something. I don't know if you're going to be taking a course or you get some type of like download or message in some way, but it ignites a new beginning and you're going to feel very victorious. You're also going to get a lot of recognition for whatever it is that you do and or just People are going to be able to see that, like, things have really changed for you. You've changed. If you were somebody that, like, was, uh, had a lot of, like, um, emotional instability that made it so that maybe you were very chaotic or maybe a little bit more harsh than you would have liked to be, you know what I mean? Like, you're just very more defensive. You're going to tap back into your compassion and your empathy, and you're going to be able to be softer as well. I'm also getting that in the month of July. Tell me about it. Yeah, this must, this cycle, okay? Because this, this transformation, this breakthrough is happening in July. This cycle may have been a very long and drawn out cycle for you. I have the three of swords and the ten of wands. This was something that was really heavy. It, you carried a lot of like emotional baggage. This is what I, again, this is what I'm really getting. Someone is or has been working on addressing whatever emotional, they're like coming to emotional control because there was something going on. Because eight of cups, cups is in the realms of emotions. So there was something going on that wasn't just, it wasn't right or something just didn't feel right. There was something missing. 
And it may have started because of some form of heartbreak, grief, or sadness that ended up being really heavy for you. Um, and you ended up carrying a lot of baggage from it. Um, this is also gives me a little bit of depression vibes. So it may have like really weighed you down. And I just got the image of like tread, like treading through mud, like as if this was like all mud and it was just like slopping through. So it was like really hard to get through. Were you coming through some type of breakthrough? Uh, this is something that you may have been thinking about or starting to realize. And that's why you decide, okay, I'm going to walk away. I'm going to, um, I'm going to move on from this. I'm going to change this. It leads to some form of breakthrough truth about some kind of stability, maybe inheritance too. It could be some type of like spiritual inheritance. The way that this is playing out, especially with the Hierophant being here, the Death card. Ten of Pentacles could be some form of like spiritual inheritance, something maybe you were meant to come in and work through in this lifetime. You might be overcoming that. I don't know why I'm getting that. Tell me more. Anything else? Yeah, look at that. Listen, I'm telling you, cycles are ending. I have a 10, 10, and another 10. And I have two aces with the six of wands. Like... There is, and especially with the death card overseeing all of that, like there's some type of cycle completion, something that you have been working on. You're overcoming your emotions. You're getting back to being, yeah, you're getting back to being um, either like being yourself again, being compassionate, or you've tapped into being compassionate. You've worked on your feminine. You've worked on the heartache, the hardness, the, you know, um, sadness and like heartbreak and, and feeling, uh, really just emotionally heavy. It, it takes a toll on you and it hardens you a little bit. Right. Um, that's why healing takes work and that's why you have to like reach out and talk to people and get yourself help in order to address it because it can be a lot. Now, Whatever you've been doing, the breakthrough happens in July. You're heading into, again, I said it was some type of completion. The world was at the bottom of the deck. It's, it's time. You're heading right into happiness. With the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, everything's going to work out. That's how it feels. Six of Wands and the world, that's a success. Everything's just going to work out. The way that it's meant to, the way that it, you're just going to see it in July. Wow, air signs, kind of, that's what I'm getting. Okay. So let me know if this resonates. I'm going to leave it there. Um, I don't even know where to start for the extended. Um, we might just go into maybe just different things because this is like bing, bang, booming. Ooh, devil at the bottom of the deck. Nope, overcoming it. <laughs> Yo. You guys are calling your power back. Someone's been doing the work. Somebody's been healing some form of toxic cycle, realizing where they've also been playing a part in it. They've also, like, taking accountability, doing the internal work. Major, this is, like, major shadow work here. Someone's really going in and fucking, this is a transformation. Full card, brand new beginning, taking a leap of faith. All right, air signs, let's go. I love that for you guys. That's amazing, amazing. Chariot, boom, and we're in cancer season. What? This is this may have already started for you. Did you guys see the the jiggle? Oh my God. Anyway, um, this. Now with the chariot, six of wands, complete trans, I mean, not transformation. Well, yes, death card, but this is like a victory. 
a major victory. That's the major to the minor that both mean overcoming. It's not only did you win the battle, it's you won the war. And now you get to move on in peace, I heard. Now you get to move on in peace. Sun card, bottom of the deck. All right, I'm done. Um, in the extended, we're going to go over career finances. We're going to get love. We're going to look at love in July specifically because um, this feels like a transformation with you. I didn't even talk about your love life. You are going to be emotionally happy, but let's get a little bit more in depth with that, what you should be doing um, in terms of career and finances and any other kind of spirit messages with some oracles um, that we need. All right, guys, I'm not going to go into more with this because this like wrapped it up. July is going to be very transformative for you. I am excited to see you guys come back and tell me how this resonates. And if it doesn't resonate, just let it fly. All right. I love you guys. If you guys want to come over to the extended link is in the description box um, or up in my link tree in my bio. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And I say share because you never know who needs to hear this message. All right. Bye.